that our prophet, the last thing that he did just before he passed away, and that this is the day that he didn't lead the prayer, and he had Sayyidina Bakr Siddiq in prayer, is that there was a curtain, and he pulled open the curtain, he looked at the Sahaba, and he smiled. And this hadith is in Bukhari, and I'm giving you a short version of it. The one who narrates the hadith says, is that it almost reached the point where we broke our prayers. Yani kidna naftatan fi salah. Because they were so happy they thought the Prophet was better. But one, how did they know he was smiling if they're in prayer? How did they know he was smiling? And why was it that the smile of the Prophet almost caused them to break their prayers? This is in Bukhari. That this is, what does that smile mean? Nafsi fida, may my soul be ransomed for that smile. If the Prophet is smiling, it is a sign that the Rabbul is Raldi, that he's content, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then what was it that the Sahaba did, the Prophet realized, is that they had absorbed this message, they were transformed, and that they were perfectly apt now to be able to transmit this gender, this deen to the Tabi'een, who translated, transmitted it to the Tabi Tabi'een, and this is the greatest challenges before all of us. All of you that have kids, how can we transmit this deen to the next generation and do our job so that we meet our Lord and He's content with us? It's an honor for me and I apologize for being late.